Colonial Viper Mark II Video 3. Uh, now I've got the horizontal and the vertical stringers all in place and attached. I've got my longer ones on top because we have a cantilever effect where it's being held on by the last plate, the last former, and uh, it has tension in the top and compression in the bottom. So I don't really need longer ones on the bottom, uh, but I will probably put a couple on the side for a bit of stability. So there you have it, um, ready to start skinning it soon. So I've got, uh, where is it? Lots and lots of this good gear. But, uh, I've got some soft, fairly squishy stuff, and I've got some stuff that's a bit firmer, which um, oh, there might be places to use both. Uh, there's the firmer stuff. Pretty hard stuff, so that will hot wire cut beautifully. I'll put that in place, build it up in layers, and then it'll be shaped with a hot wire cutter and come down the sides here, I'll build it higher, but then I'll use the hot wire cutter on the formers, it's nice and wide, and use the formers as guides as I drag the hot wire cutter down. Uh, the rest of it will be done by hand sanding, and then the fiberglass over the top. That's the plan so far, Stan.